Hey guys, just want to make a quick video. Um, it's beautiful out, it's about 77 degrees right now. I just gave the birds a bath and uh, I started looking at the bath pans and wanted to make a quick video showing you guys what I use. Uh, bath pans have been one of my biggest struggles. Uh, I just can't find anything decent, honestly. Uh, the only thing I can find is uh, like, you know, flower pot dishes, something to keep the water from pouring on the floor when you, you know, when you give your, wa your plants water. Uh, and those haven't haven't been any good. I mean, they'll last maybe a season or so, and then I'm buying more and more. Uh, but what I did find, though, what I've I hit kind of hit the jackpot was at a landscaping supply. Uh, they're the same. I guess they are flower pot dishes, but they're much larger, and they're very sturdy. Like the material they're made of. Let me see if I can get this open without scaring any of these birds out. Uh, they're about three, four inches deep. I'd say about four inches deep. Uh, these are 30 inches. Uh, inside depth and they're very sturdy i mean they're made of real i mean a good eighth thick pliable rubber i mean it's, you can tell it's good quality stuff you can tell it's sturdy uh, and they finish on my aviaries almost perfectly i mean i maybe have an inch or two to spare um, but they seem to work out great i'm super amped i found them just wanted to give you guys maybe a, a, a place to look if you guys are having the same issue i'm having uh, like I said, I know it seems silly, man, but when, you, when it comes down to it and you want to give your birds a bath, it seems like it's the hardest thing. Now, I have heard of guys using uh, the bottoms of those large uh, plastic, white plastic barrels. They'll cut a good four inches off the bottom, and those seem to be pretty good. They just seem a little too heavy duty. I wanted something I could stack, put away for the winter so they don't, the, the, the freeze or the snow it doesn't damage them. But these seem to be seem to be ideal man landscaping supply that's where you're gonna find them that's where i found these um i don't know let me see if i get these birds in come on guys these are my prisoners and i definitely don't want to scare them out come on come on come on guys yeah i really don't want to take the risk come on Let's see if i can get them to go in come on that's right get your butts inside all right, they're done taking a bath either way, so I just want to take a peek, see if I can uh, dump these out. So, on the bottom of these, uh, all I see is uh, Anderson Dye and Manufacturing. I don't know what that's about. Uh, maybe that's the company that makes them. It's a 20 or a number 25 saucer. Um, you can see the price tag. They weren't very expensive. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but I paid about 15 and a half for them. Uh, but like I said, they're very, very, very good quality. I mean, they're they're thick, they're pliable, but I mean, they they seem to work out great, and I love them. Uh, I usually put them on the floor for the flyers, and I'll leave them inside the aviaries for the breeders. Um, and they love them. The only modification I may make is I think I'm going to add a, let me take this one down as well, a hose attachment right on the side so that I can feed a constant flow of water so none of this white dust uh, settles. You know, I want it to kind of just overflow and all that white dust kind of just pours out with the water. And they're heavy. But that's where you guys can find them. Like I said, just a quick video showing you guys that. Uh, one additional thing, uh, on a training toss this week, I picked up a bird. Uh, that bird is from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, I was able to contact the owner or the president of that club. I'm not sure. Uh, and he has yet to get to, I talked to his wife. He has yet to get back to me uh, on the bird and what they want to do with it. I don't plan on keeping the bird whatsoever. Uh, but I just want to ask you guys, what would you guys, what would you guys do? It's a racing bird. It's a 2017 youngster. It's got a racing band on it. I think it's inside the coop right now. It's right there. Uh, I don't make a habit of keeping lost racers. I'm a firm believer that these birds should find their way home. Uh, if it was sick or if it had needed, uh, you know, a drink or something of that nature, just follow my birds home. I can understand that. But it's been out with my birds already. Yesterday it gave me two hours on the wing, and it still came down. Still, best, it still entered my loft. So I'm not sure uh, what to do with it. What would you guys do with it? I mean, I definitely don't want to breed from it. Could it be a good bird? Maybe, but in a situation like mine where I only hold so many birds and my loft is only so large, every perch matters. And I definitely don't want to breed that characteristic into my loft. Um, yes, there's always that circumstance where 
the bird may have just you know gotten lost too far from home whatever the case is maybe on its first flight out uh, and it wasn't trained right I don't know I don't know the circumstances but I also don't I'm, I'm kind of torn and what, what do you do you know I mean it seems like a good bird it handles good as a youngster you can tell it ain't very old but uh, should I waste my time what would you guys do like I said I'm a firm believer in not not keeping lost birds I mean they should find their way home uh, but there's always a lot of circumstances to that you know was it trained right was it uh, you know I guess you know did somebody put in the effort before the bird got lost you know it didn't come home sickly I mean the droppings are good uh, I don't know I don't know maybe I'll just take it if I, if I don't get a call back maybe I'll just take it on another training flight uh, or training toss and see what uh, see what the guy says I mean in, in case it does go home but anyway let me know what you guys think and I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys later